Welcome to a special video on a topic that's been on the minds of many people around the world lately. From natural disasters to unprecedented events, many people believe that the signs of the rapture, a prophesied event in Christian theology, are beginning to manifest. The idea of the rapture has captivated and intrigued people for centuries with many interpretations and beliefs about its meaning and significance. But today, we'll be discussing recent events that have left many wondering is the rapture truly at hand? Join us as we explore the signs that have been occurring all over the world and what they could mean for the future of humanity. Get ready, because what we're about to discuss may change everything. What was Christ's promise to his followers? Christ made many promises to his followers, but perhaps the most significant and enduring of these is the promise of eternal life. According to the New Testament, Christ promised that all those who believe in him and follow his teachings will have eternal life in heaven after they die. This promise is central to the Christian faith and provides comfort and hope to millions of believers around the world. The promise of eternal life is rooted in Christ's teachings about God's love and mercy. In John chapter 3, verse 16, Christ proclaims that, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This verse captures the essence of Christ's promise, that God loves us so much that he sent his only Son to die for us, and that by believing in him we can have eternal life. Christ also promised to be with his followers always, even to the end of the age. In Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 he says, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This promise reassures believers that Christ is always present with them, guiding and comforting them through life's challenges. In addition to these promises, Christ also offered his followers the gift of the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 14 verse 26 he says, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Spirit is seen as a guide and counselor, helping believers to understand and apply Christ's teaching to their lives. Finally, Christ promised that he would return one day to establish his kingdom on earth. In Matthew chapter 24, verses 30 to 31, he says, at that time the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. This promise gives believers hope that one day Christ will return and bring an end to suffering and injustice in the world. What is the significance and symbolism of the trumpet in the Bible? The trumpet has great significance and symbolism in the Bible, where it is often used to convey important messages or to announce significant events. The sound of the trumpet is associated with the voice of God and is often used to signal the presence of God or the coming of His kingdom. In the Old Testament, the trumpet was used in many different contexts, including in warfare, to announce the arrival of important people or to signal the beginning of religious festivals. In the book of Exodus, for example, the trumpet was used to announce the giving of the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai, and in the book of Joshua it was used to bring down the walls of Jericho. The trumpet was also used to signal the beginning of the new year and other important religious festivals. In addition to these historical uses, the trumpet also had important symbolic meaning in the Old Testament. It was often associated with the power and authority of God, and its sound was thought to have the power to awaken the faithful from their spiritual slumber. In the book of Isaiah, for example, the trumpet is used as a call to repentance and as a warning of judgment, and in the book of Joel it is associated with the day of the Lord and the coming of the Messiah. The significance of the trumpet is also evident in the New Testament, where it is often used to signify the coming of the kingdom of God and the return of Christ. In the book of Revelation, the sound of seven trumpets is used to announce the beginning of God's judgment on the world and the coming of his kingdom. The seventh and final trumpet signals the return of Christ, the resurrection of the dead, and the beginning of the eternal kingdom of God. In addition to its eschatological significance, the trumpet also has important symbolic meaning in the New Testament. 
It is often associated with the voice of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. In the book of 1 Thessalonians, for example, the coming of Christ is announced with the sound of the trumpet, and in the book of Corinthians, the resurrection of the dead is described as occurring at the sound of the last trumpet. The trumpet is also used as a metaphor for the preaching of the gospel and the call to salvation. In the books of Romans, for example, Paul asks, How can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? Romans chapter 10 verse 14. He goes on to say, And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news! Romans chapter 10 verse 15. In this passage, the preaching of the gospel is compared to the sound of a trumpet, which carries the message of salvation to those who have not yet heard it. What is the sign that at last declares the impending rapture? What can we do to be a part of God's people who are taken? The concept of the rapture as understood by many Christians refers to the belief that at some point in the future, Jesus Christ will return to the earth to gather up all of his followers and take them with him to heaven. While there is debate among Christians about the specifics of how and when the rapture will occur, many believe that there are signs that will precede this event. One of the signs that is commonly believed to precede the rapture is a time of great upheaval and chaos in the world. According to many biblical prophecies, there will be wars, natural disasters, and other signs of social and political instability in the lead-up to the rapture. In addition, some Christians believe that the return of the Jewish people to their homeland in Israel is also a sign that rapture is imminent. However, it is important to note that there is no specific sign or event that definitively declares the impending rapture. Christians are encouraged to be vigilant and to always be prepared for the return of Christ, regardless of the signs that may or may not be present. So, what can we do to be a part of God's people who are taken during the rapture? The answer lies in the importance of faith and a relationship with Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of John, Jesus tells his followers, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 verse 6. This statement emphasizes the importance of faith in Jesus as the path to salvation and eternal life. To be a part of God's people who are taken during the rapture, one must have faith in Jesus Christ and seek to live according to his teachings. This involves confessing one's sins and seeking forgiveness, accepting Jesus as one's savior, and striving to live a life that is pleasing to God. It also involves participating in the life of the church, studying the Bible, and cultivating a prayerful life. In addition, Christians are called to love others and share the message of the gospel with those who have not yet heard it. Jesus tells his followers to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 through 20. This command emphasizes the importance of evangelism and sharing the message of salvation with others. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications so you never miss an update. If you're looking for more information or want to explore the topic further, be sure to check out the links in the description. We are always striving to bring you the latest and most interesting information in our field, so if you have any suggestions for topics you'd like to see us cover, please let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions or feedback about this video, we'd love to hear from you as well. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.